Ukrainian industrial companies in the Donetsk People's Republic are being nationalized, the Republic's leader Alexander Zakharchenko told reporters. The companies located in the Donetsk People's Republic, which until recently were owned by Ukraine, have now been nationalized, he told in a news briefing. The Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs has stated that the U.S. maintains a policy of exacerbated relations with Russia. The U.S. and the European Union have openly encouraged the unconstitutional coup in Kiev and the actions of nationalist forces who came to power there and then launched a military campaign and strangled socio-economic assets of the southeastern part of the country. This policy has caused thousands of dead and wounded, hundreds of thousands of refugees and internally displaced persons, plus the destructions of the social and economic infrastructure the MPA of Russia states. Meanwhile, American Foreign Policy magazine criticized U.S. policy towards Russia. According to articles author Jeffrey Taylor, the West is using the Kyiv authorities to escalate the conflict with Russia. He believes that by signing the Ukraine Freedom Support Act, U.S. President Barack Obama has essentially declared war on Russia. No one should be surprised that the response from Moscow was less than friendly, writes Taylor. Taylor said that the warming of relations would happen if the United States and European countries would promise to Russia Ukraine's continued neutrality and non-alignment with NATO. The U.S.-led coalition in Afghanistan formally ended its combat mission on Sunday, more than 13 years after an international alliance forces invaded country. But all that is only on paper. Same time, about 13,000 foreign troops, mostly Americans, will remain in the country under a new two-year mission named Resolute Support. We remember, the Taliban have launched increasingly deadly attacks in the past year. Nearly 3.2 thousand Afghan civilians were killed in the conflict between the militia group and the army in 2014 and more than three and a half thousand foreign soldiers died in Taliban attacks since 2001. 13 years of US combat missions ended in failure. Chaos and war continues in Afghanistan. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.